Hi, my name's Ian. I'm here to talk you through the very 3 go tripod. This is a travel tripod that we believe is the ultimate blend of portability and performance. We'd like to explain why. Within the range, there's six models, three aluminium, three carbon. Within that, we have a carbon fiber model, which weighs as little as 820 grams and falls down to 32 and a half centimeters, all the way to a travel tripod, which is slightly longer at 41 centimeters, but can take a 10 kilogram payload and go above 1.6 meters. The tripod I'm going to be demonstrating today is the Veo 3 go 265HCB. This tripod weighs 1.4 kilograms, falls to 41 centimeters I worked, but extends to 166 centimeters. To open up, simply unclick the legs. You can hear the legs there clicking as there. You've got three independent leg angles, 21 degrees, 50 degrees, and 80 degrees. That then leaves a problem with the central column. However, there is a free low angle adapter provided so you can take off the head and attach it and you take out the central column. Alternatively, simply reverse the central column and you've got a situation where you've got the tripod, the camera right down to the ground. To open up the tripod, simply open up the half twist turn, twist locks. These are really simple, so simple half turn on the twist lock, pull, lock. The other advantage of these leg locks is that they do have an easy clean system. Inside are only two simple bits of plastic that are easy to take out, allows you to maintain and clean it if you've been using it in sandy conditions or near the sea, and then simply put it back together again. So again, it just extends the life of the product. If I put it on the ground, you can see how high it goes already. However, it's also got a second central column. So that allows it to go to 166 centimeters. So it's a good height for any photographer. If you're at all, I'm five foot eight. You can be six foot something and actually have a good, a good shot. You're not bending over to get to it. And the, if I lower that again, if you don't want to use the central column, you can simply set it right down low. So if you've got a long zoom where movement is really important, just don't use the central column. It's still a good height. You're not worrying too much about for, uh, bending down all the time. Putting it up to here, if I take it from the top, what you've got is an arc compatible quick release plate. So simply unscrew and you can take the quick release plate off. This has got two rubber pads that are either side and a standard quarter inch thread. It's also got a D-ring, so you can use that just to tighten the bottom of your camera, or it's also got space for a coin or a screwdriver or an Allen key to get a really firm grip. Once that's in there, you have one really clean ergonomic locking knob. So this locking knob, simply unclip, and it allows you to move any way you want. If I then do that back up again, it gives a really solid grip. So again, your camera's not going anywhere. This allows it to take up to 10 kilograms. If you got yourself to a position where you want to do a panorama shot, it also comes with a separate pan lock. So simply lock that off and it doesn't move. If I unlock that, you can move it. So it allows you to either create a live panorama or you can create it through the degrees markings at the bottom so you can stitch it again later, stitch it together later in a, 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 some sort of Photoshop or, or Lightroom or some sort of similar software. What's nice about this particular model, it also comes with a monopod leg. So the monopod leg, all you simply do is unscrew that all the way and screw the retractable hook, take the central column out and screw the two together. And what you have is you have a monopod that goes up to 1.7 meters. It also comes with rubber feet there's, those rubber feet can be changed for spike feet when necessary. So again, simply take off the rubber foot, screw in the spike foot, and you're able to use it on wet and, wet and muddy ground. The other advantage of this particular tripod, it comes with a smartphone connector. So simply screw the smartphone connector onto the top. And then you can add any mobile phone up to 87 millimeters. Simply push in, push up, and it's ready to go. It also comes with a remote control, and that remote control is suitable for Android or Apple users. Simply pair the two together and you're able to take shots without having to touch the camera. When not needed, you can simply clip the, the Bluetooth connector to the actual side of, the, of, of a leg. That also allows you to use it as a simple selfie stick or a vlogging stick or something like that on the go. So, Within the range, there are two other different models. There's a 20 mil model. It doesn't include some of the features we've just discussed, um, but that information is on the website, so it doesn't have the low angle adapter, uh, for example, the spike feet. 
but it weighs very little, it's incredibly portable. It weighs 820 grams and will go up to 130 centimeters. You then have the mid-sized one, which is 23 mil, which can take a, a four kilogram uh, maximum load capacity and comes with a low angle adapter and the spike feet. So again, there's more information online. If you're looking for more information, please visit your local dealer or go online and search for the Veo3Go travel tripod.